Hello guys, kumusta kayong lahat at welcome back dito sa May Art Life. And uh, for today's episode, excited na akong ipakita at i-share sa inyo itong bago nating art material for today. And kung makikita nyo, dito pa lang sa packaging, uh, malamang sa malamang alam nyo na kung saan galing to. So it's it's from Ninja Van and of course it came from Shopee. So let's go ahead and open up the package para may share ko na sa inyo kung ano tong bago nating art material today. At tatuwa naman ako pagbukas ko ng package. Kasi uh, kung makikita nyo, ayan, meron pang thank you note si seller. And o oh nga pala guys, um, yung uh, details about the seller and all that, I'll put that on the description box below. Pero bago nyo to bilhin, of course, uh, let's see kung maganda nga talaga tong art package na to. At kung makikita nyo dito, meron din siyang mga inspirational um, phrases. And nakalagay dyan, Dream big, never give up, focus, do what you love to do, and stay humble. Ako ko lang kung hindi pa kayo ma-inspire dyan sa mga um, motivational phrases na yan. Alright, so this time, buksan naman natin, or tanggalin na natin yung bubble wrap para malabasan natin yung mismong item. Pero, nung pagbukas ko ng bubble wrap, um, it's so nice naman that the seller even included a freebie, Faber-Castell na mini eraser. Yan, magagamit natin yan for drawing. And, of course, ito na yung ating item for today. It's a Toru Non-Smudge Color Pencil uh, by Tong A. Yan, tanggalin na natin yung plastic wrapping. Ito nga pala, habang binubuksan ko yung item, I'll give you a background kung bakit ko binili tong uh, art material na to. Kasi, uh, may nakita ko na woodless colored pencil. Um, it is by Koinur. So, alam nyo naman na maganda yung product na Koinur. Pero sobrang mahal nung woodless colored pencil na yun. So, nung nakita ko to sa Shopee, so I'm thinking na it looks the same. It's probably the same. So, let's see kung talagang ang woodless colored pencil nga siya tulad nung Koinur. Okay, so natanggalan natin yung plastic cover and eto sobrang thumbs up to sa akin na nasa durable plastic casing siya. At ito, may kita nyo yung uh, product name na Toru, tapos No Smudge Color Pencil. And uh, meron din siyang details na nakalagay ito na No Stains on Hands After Use and Slim Shape Which Guides Small Hands to Grip Pencil. So, small hands, I guess it's for kids. At ito, may kita nyo, uh, made in Korea from Dong A and it has 12 colors. Alright, so in the hard casing, meron siyang dalawang latch, which is uh, the lock para sumara yung hard case niya. So just lift it up and it opens up at ito na yung 12 Toru color pencils natin. So yung feel ng actual pencil is it's smooth and shiny, so paginawa ko siya para siyang plastic. And so far, it looks sturdy naman at mukhang hindi madaling maputol yung pencil. At ito, let's take a closer look. Yan yung itsura niya on the close-up. So, makita nyo parang nga siyang, ano mo yun, hard plastic. Pero meron siyang butas on the other end. And I'm not sure what's it for. And hollow ba tong pencil na to? So, wala siyang laman sa loob. Uh, well, tingnan natin. Lagyan natin ng stick. And tingnan natin kung gaano kalalim yung uh, butas na to from the other end. Okay, so yan, hindi naman pala ganun kadalim. So it could be something that has to be there during production of the pencil. I'm not sure, pero yeah, those are all of the 12 colors. And right now, let's get our swatch sheet. Yan, and let's try it out. Let's swatch all of the 12 colors that this Toro Color Pencil has. Okay, I'll start off with a pink. And uh, yan, medyo nila light ko muna yung color, tas gradually. Uh, I put more pressure to get more of the pigments out of the pencil. So while I'm swatching, I'll tell you more details or more of my opinions on how this product performs. All right? Let's start off with uh, what you can actually see, which is the pigment. So uh, vibrant naman yung kulay niya, although it's not like a very pigmented na colored pencil. And uh, yung color payoff, 
um, hindi ka agad as in wow yung kulay medyo you have to put a little bit more of pressure tas medyo ilang strokes bago mo makukuha yung full vibrancy or yung full coverage ng colors and also yung feel nito and it says i know it says in the packaging na it's colored pencils pero these are more like crayons actually medyo it's drier or it feels kind of drier than uh, an actual crayon because the bang crayon we all know it's very waxy pero this one it's kind of like drier than the usual crayon another thing na na observe ko while using uh, this toro is yung um, ibang kulay hindi as vibrant as the others yung flesh tone saka yung light green medyo i have to put a little bit more of pressure para mapalabas ko yung kulay niya sa more and yung iba naman okay lang just the usual pero yung the lighter the color mas mahirap palabasin yung um, pigments nila okay so ito na we are down to our last two colors so after nito uh, brown is yung black ayan. and yeah, malapit na tayo matapos with swatching. And we'll go to our next segment which is blending naman. Let's see how well these colors would blend or if would if it would blend at all. So, na may kita natin yan in a bit. So, uh, so this time, tapusin muna natin itong swatching. And na yan, we are all done with swatching all of the 12 colors. And ito, papakata ko rin sa inyo yung close-up shot nung mga colors na ni-swatch natin at makita nyo shiny siya kasi medyo waxy pa rin siya, hindi lang siya ganun as in uh, ka-waxy ng regular na uh, crayons pero so far this feels more like a crayon than a colored pencil okay so eto na uh, dito na tayo sa next segment natin which is blending so meron tayo dyan a little bit of an illustration ng fish and nalagyan natin siya ng mga bubbles niya and let's start with a circle and I'll make the bubbles violet ang gagawin natin dito is eto, ilalagyan natin yung first layer or yung base color which is violet tapos um, we'll add more layers na another color and let's see if it would blend kasi alam natin di ba na uh, crayons are waxy. So, pag nilagyan mo siya ng another layer or tinry mo siyang i-blend, hindi yun mangyayari kasi the wax stays put. And pag binilda mo pa ng more layers, magfi-flake off na siya from the paper or hindi na malalagyan ng bagong layer dahil nga sobrang waxy na yung surface. And yung tooth ng paper, o yung roughness ng paper, wala na dahil napatunga na siya ng wax. So far, uh, with testing with blending, um, honestly, nahirapan talaga ako with blending it and it does not blend at all. So, like I mentioned earlier, this is more like crayons than colored pencils. So, ayan, we're done with testing out the Toru Non-Smudge Color Pencil. And I think honestly they should have put crayons instead of color pencil because it's medyo misleading siya dahil this is more of like a crayon than a colored pencil. And for me, uh, nabili ko siya for 99 pesos and okay lang naman siya because yung length ng each pencil is longer than the regular crayon tas meron siyang hard casing. Kaso nga lang, um, hindi rin naman ganun ka pigmented yung each pencil niya or each crayon I should say so I think it would still work if you just use regular crayons na half the price lang than this one all right so those are my opinions of the Tong A Toru dance watch color pencils and thank you so much for joining me today guys and don't forget to hit that subscribe button that like button and also share this to everyone who likes art I'll see you next time and have a great day